Welcome back to an episode of Bennett Does Quests. And this is a strange story mission commission thingamajig that is going to happen there. And before that, we actually have some mail. Not just any mail, no, it's a promise from the hell. I was in the middle of my chivalric training today when I received a bouquet of fresh flowers from the citizens of Monza. Master Jean said that it was a token of gratitude from everyone and wished me a happy birthday. I didn't expect anyone to repay me for my help, but I moved that they remembered me because that I feel like I've improved a little compared to last year, but I'm still far from becoming your reliable shield. This is one of my dreams. I need to try harder for your sake. I can't wait to show you the fruits of my determination. Just wait until my next birthday. A So Doom di do di do doom doom do di do di do Oh that one Good win Finally, it has something to do with Goodwin. I don't know if I uh, did this commission before, but I think it's new. Uh, Goodwin, when will you return? Hi. Uh, I know the worst. Why, if it isn't the traveler from afar? Thanks to be the, the great animal. Uh, thanks be. Ah, there we go. To the great animal organ. For he surely sent the wind to guide you to this place. I have a request for you. Mm, my boyfriend Goodwin. He's in the Knights of Favonius now. He left the city ages ago and still hasn't come back. I haven't heard a single word from him since he's been gone. I'm sure so worried about him. Poor Goodwin. What if he runs into those nasty hilly girls? Or, or he also said they're at war with the Abyss Order. What if he gets injured and... And now he's been away so long. What if he takes a liking to one of the pretty night girls? Ah, sorry. Sorry, I'm getting carried away. My mother always tells me that dandelions can carry people's hearts, desires far away to a distant place. Uh, someone who questions, could you collect three dandelion seeds from Windrise for me? Okay, done. Uh, thank you ever so much. May the animal can protect you. So, uh, give the Italian seeds to... Okay, that was easy. <laughs> uh, I don't need to collect them from Windrise. Uh, like, Windrise is... Where's Windrise? Windrise is the area around the huge tree. Um, a little bit east of Mondstadt. So, let's give her the seeds. Thank you. Uh, you can please place them into my hand. I can't see and I lose them otherwise. Uh, will these be enough? Uh, could you place them into my hand? That's the only way I can tell. This is enough. Now, uh, to tell them everything I want to say to Gitwin. Um, cover your ears, please. No ears dropping. These are private words shared between lovers, you know. <laughs> you must have had a similar experience before. Okay, I'm done. Now, take these to the top of the animal archon statue and release them into the wind. The great archon himself will take them from there. I hope he will guide them to Gitwin. Okay, so this mission is definitely a new one. Because I... I do not remember climbing up the statue in the past and releasing some of those seeds. Oh wait, let's get some pine cones. Oh no, do I have enough stamina? Oh no. Uh, I think I know what's going to happen. The moment I hit that part over there, I hit the head and I can't climb up further, is it? Nope. Okay. We're good. Perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. Uh, I just need a bit more stamina. You can climb up over there, then go around like that. You can almost use it like a staircase. Pretty much. Yeah, you can almost use it like a staircase. Look at that. Doom, 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 doom. No need for climbing up that way. <laughs> it's pretty straightforward. That's uh, nice. All right, let's uh, scatter them seeds. It will spin the wind. Okay. And then let's just give her the info. Doom, 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 doom. Wasn't she over there? I can't see her. It's weird. Where's Glory? Wait a minute. Oh! Okay, so she's... Wait, wait. 
I thought she was on these benches, not on the... Okay, it's multiple benches, so this is why it gets slightly confusing. So, did you do it? Yes. It was so windy up there. Hmm, good. That's what we want. That way the Dendalian seeds can travel far away. Maybe they really will reach Goodwin after all and pass on what I want to say to him. Give me your hand. Here, take these. And these are to say thank you. There's still so much more I want to say to Goodwin. I may need your help again in the future. So much so to that. Do 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 be do. Yes, hmm. but yeah. <laughs> in the previous few episodes, I said that I always wanted to do some uh, of those missions here. <laughs> but I'm actually. I think I'm going to do um, a slightly different mission. I'm going to. Yeah, I can uh, finish the com missions first. And then uh, I also marked a separate mission altogether up there. Mm, uh, but I think I have the wrong time of day at the moment. Yeah. They're only available on the sun side. So let's move those arms a bit. Like that. That should do the trick. Thank goodness there's a little mid. Yeah. Midday kind of behavior. It's just a two way thingy. What about Susie? Huh. May the wind of monster always be with you. Okay, who are you? Huh, I'm just like you, one that is blessed by the Barbatos, uh, the Anima Archon. Shouldn't we show our gratitude to Barbatos for the wind and warmth? Ah, uh, wind of monster? Monster is a city blessed by the Anima Archon, Barbatos. Yeah, so much in you. The wind blowing on monster is Barbatos' blessing. Nah. Okay, what about Monroe? Uh, why don't you pray with us, my friend? Uh, what are you doing? Uh, on days like these, sisters in the church will hold a prayer meeting. I've never missed a single meeting. Rather than being idle at home, joining the meetings is much more meaningful to me. Being pious is always a good thing. Oh, wait. Wasn't this uh, the dude in the library? Yeah, pious, my ass. So, Said. Uh, or Said. Huh. Hello, my friend. Uh, you want to talk? No, it depends. But some terror, who are you? Let me to introduce myself. My name is... He is also in the library, by the way. Sumero, yada, yada, yada. Uh, and the stuff that he says is always the same. Uh, something, something, Sumero. Something, something, teacher. Something, something, library. All right. So, let's talk to Grace. Because this is the actual mission that I wanted to do. Thanks to be there. Again, it's not to be. It's B2. Thanks be to the Animal Archon. What are you up to? Hmm... I'm praying to Lord Barbatus. I was uh, by it was by his protection that Monster was able to weather the storm. We also have him to thank for the safety of the Knights of Avonius and the adventures of the guild. Thank you, Lord Barbatus. Ah, oh, thank you, Lord Barbatus. How hard work! <laughs> I dare not fathom the things Lord Barbatus has done for us. But just knowing that such a diligent deity watches over Monster sets my heart at ease. Ah yes, if you have some time, could you do me a favor? I'd like you to help me collect one batch of Dendalian seeds and scatter them to the winds at the toe of the Animal Archon statue. There seems to be a pattern here. Um, I think I've heard of this one. Hmm. Oh, but didn't you help Glory scatter Dendalian seeds in the same manner before? Did you forget? <laughs> oh, Dendalian seeds that go with the wind carry the feelings in our hearts with them, whether that feeling is remembrance or thanksgiving. My papa does the animal archon, so it is most fitting to use these Dendalian seeds to express our thanks to him. Ah, hello me then. Hmm. Let's hope that I have some uh, seeds on my hand. What's that? I don't know. Talk to race. Oh, wait. Uh, give the Dendalian seeds to Grace. Ah, okay, so the previous one, uh, I finished and now it's this one. So, uh, have you gathered the Dendalian seeds? Yes. Uh, these should be enough. Please wait here for a moment. Lubobotos, please hear me. Ah, well, she's so devout. So many words. Who knows if that tone-deaf bard is listening. Alright, please take these Dendalian seeds. Help me go up and scatter them. I should really do this myself, but with my physical ability, I would probably have a hard time getting back down, even if I could climb up there. Well, get a glider and uh, get down. So I'm counting on you. Mm. Uh, let's go up there again, using the staircase method. 
It is so easy. Oh shit. Ah. Yeah, it is so easy. One second later, face plant on the ground. Alright. Let's get at these seeds. So, have you scattered the Dandelion seeds? I've done just that. Regardless, I do hope that Lord Barbatos will be able to hear my voice. Thank you for your willingness to help. Please take this for your troubles, and may the Animal Archon protect you. Sweet, so I did finish this mission, and I also did another one for those uh, monster tasks. Or of those monster tasks. Monster and its Archon. It's actually a very, very short mission. Maybe you can also have uh, a third one after that. I don't know when the next one will get triggered, but I believe there's also... Because I was looking into it, uh, this dude also has another mission. But for now, he's not ready yet. Uh, yeah, not yet. Because uh, his mission is related to... Damn it, what was it related to? Uh, Monster and its Archon. It's related to some other uh, side mission that needs to be unlocked first. And I don't know which one it was. Uh, completely forgot it. Anyway, it was kind of an interesting mission. That's why I'm so keen on doing that Fatui one in Monster. Because it had some other connections. Maybe in the next few days I will actually uh, get them unlocked. Or maybe I have to do some main missions before that in order to continue the story. Yeah, I think so. Maybe I have to do some main missions for that. So let's get the reputation uh, rewards here. Oh wait, Palma did something. Uh, no, it's not there. Maybe it's in... Yeah, it's a J menu. Did a story mission just... Yeah, story mission got available. No, it's the key that got available. Nah, those five here we can't do yet. Uh, and this one here... What was so special about the endings received? Uh, oh, wait, I can start them. Uh, okay. I just need another two keys for that. Okay, so it's now time to collect keys and spend them on those... Uh, date-ish kind of missions. So, Hertha. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's get some reputation thingies. So, Monster and its Archon done. Now it's just all about equivalent exchange. That's the last mission I have to do in Monster. And then uh, it's, it's pretty much done. And then I can focus on Liu. And also, yeah, the focus on Liu. That... Yes, uh, it's definitely something I have to do as well. So, let's claim the commission rewards. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And then, uh, there's... Did I level up? No, I'm still at 50. Another thing I need to do is increase the world rank. I don't know. Maybe I can do this in this episode as well. So, I don't need to split it that much. Because those tasks were actually really, really quick. Uh, enter the ruins. Well, okay. It's basically just do the uh, do go into the gear, uh, gear the left. ruins and that's it. Um, is it something? Yeah, it's always the same ruins. It's always do the ascension. Then uh, if the thing gets ascended, and then that's it. All right. Let's follow up with the ascension at the end with a bit of luck. Uh, I don't need a correspond. What was that just now? Lynn's trouble. Ah, uh, look at that. It's so and so much higher. Okay, I can actually climb up there. Don't want to use that much stamina because I don't know if it goes up even higher than that. Yeah, I'm running out of it any moment. Uh, stamina food would be highly appreciated. Oh, look at that view. Even while it's raining, it looks beautiful. Only thing they could do is uh, do something about the... Well, the the uh, the green mountains. Like, it looks too... Uh, too same-ish. The only thing uh, that... 
changes up it uh, changes up a little bit are the trees. You can see uh, the grass down there, but when it gets further away, the grass just simply disappears. And if you look really close, I think, yeah, you can see at the top of Bennett's head there is a line, and after that line, there are no there's no grass anymore. It's like the maximum distance uh, draw distance for grass and for like up oh, bollocks. And Lin is now gone. So if you take too long uh, to talk to one of them, even if it's cli uh, climbing or whatever, then they will disappear as well. That's a bit iffy. Not cool. So, ascend. Uh, let's do that. The recommended elements are every element. Hmm. So fire does react with almost everything. Except for other fire. So let's hope that none of it is fire related. Otherwise I'm screwed. It might just be... Yeah, it's, it's always the same domain. It ends up with uh, an electrohypostasis. And this one... Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm dishing out decent dish damage. If... Actually, like... Okay, I only dish out uh, decent damage if I have the albedo buff. If I just strike them like this, then I do just 1,000-ish damage. It's not that much, to be honest. Interesting. For some reason, these rockets uh, like lose uh, lose their target if they fly for like at least a second. Hey, <laughs> 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 Okay. Wait to or something second. That's what I wanted to do. There we go. Number one. Number two. Got it. I think I don't even need the ultimate for this one. I can just uh, strike it a few moment. And at some point the crit happens. Hmm. I can dish out thousands and thousands and thousands of crit. <laughs> uh, but that is just it. Wee. Hmm, interesting runes. Yeah, similar to the ones uh, that I've seen in... Uh... Ooh, oh, that is so close. That is really interesting. Look at this. I could just go forward like that. <laughs> uh, oh, careful. Alrighty. That one is triggered. Let's go and check these ones here. Don't want to get frozen. <laughs> Uh, 10,000 damage, right? And they are still standing. I need to do more damage. The problem is there's no way I can do that. Except I am in possession of a 5-star item. Well, not any 5-star. Well, I do have 5-star items, but it's 5-star weapons, mostly. And a complete 5-star set on Bennett. By the way, what kind of artifacts does he have? Yeah, that thing still needs upgrading. That flask also needs an upgrade. And... Uh, well, wait a minute. Mm, do I have this one in good? No, I don't. What I need in here is physical damage. Nah, there's no other physical damage thingy. Most of the other stuff is just that. Wee. 
No, no, no. You have to be pushed into there we go. the area of extreme damage. So let's continue. Second challenge thingy. Come on. Oh no. It's Fatui again. Like last time I had a real problem fighting this Fatui agent. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. Ah, come on. Where is it? There we go. He should be burning by now. Nice. It's really important that you take out the uh, ranged enemies before. Otherwise, uh, you can't really focus on this dude here. You always have to uh, do a step to the side and so on. Ooh. Where's the dude? Over there. Alright, you should be done. Oh, come on. There we go. There might be uh, another fight. Nope, the rest is just archers. Crossbowmen. Is it doing with a crossbow still an archer? Or is it supposed to be something different? Not quite sure about that. Because when you think about an archer, you usually think about a dude with a bow. And someone with a cross bow. Anyway, let's move on. Shoo -de -do -de -do -do. Oh, by the way, uh, just for completion's sake, eh? yeah, that's at 90, that's at 90. So the only other thing I could do is get a five star weapon on him. <sighs> or try out the uh, fillet blade. Oh, yeah, the fillet blade on him might be pretty decent. Like the, uh, I I tried it once. I was kind of surprised uh, by the amount of damage that it does, and that it's actually not that big of a difference compared to the uh, the blade that I have on at the moment, the the uh, the Liu blade, whatever it's called. Ooh. Oh no, you cannot climb. Oh, I totally forgot that. I'm so screwed. Oh, that was close. Thing that you actually have to do uh, is just defeat the enemies in the huge rooms. Uh, everywhere where there is this um, foggy wall there, this energy field, like these enemies over here, and of course the uh, the boss fight as well. And if you've done that, then you're basically good to go. Every other enemy is just, um, well, decoration, basically. You can just uh, run past them if you want to be extremely quick. Oh, it's so nice not having to fight any fire mages. Oh. Oh, come on. What happens if I just... Well, yeah, I can just do the double strike. Let's slice fries and enemy done. Now, let's get this challenge. And of course, it is another hypostasis. So, and usually, okay, it's already triggered. We uh, stand a bit further away from it. Number one, number two, and number three. Wow, we're actually dishing a decent amount of damage. I didn't really think about it. Think of it as being that difficult. Ooh. It's weird. Like it's it's level 90. Okay, I'm also level 90 with this character, but 
Aren't the following uh, enemies also at 90 and upwards and whatnot? Ah, it's already at the grind. That is weird. No, not this one again. Well, actually, uh, a much better solution would be to use uh, the Flower of Elvido in the vicinity and use the triggers with Amber in order to get additional damage. Should have done that instead. Oh no, they're gone now. Uh, every time. Every time you hit a boss with a flower, it immediately disappears. What you have to do is put it to the side so you get multiple triggers of the transient blossom effect. Like uh, this one here. Oh, come on again. I put it to the side, but it's still somewhat collided with the, with the orb thingy. Oh no, not this one again. That's a shitty thing. Uh, you have to stand really, really far away in order to not get hit by it. Uh, there we go. Okay, but there is some kind of a good opening there. Okay, almost got it. And it's just one more strike of it. Okay, it might be a triple punch. Two, and number three. And as I said, this thing on the side, now it works. You need sufficient distance. And then you can trigger it multiple times in a row. That's absolutely amazing. Okay. Mm. And there we got it. The bunny did the rest for the uh, first orb. Let's just get the luxurious stuff. Standard ish kind of items. And the world level increased, of course, to level 7. Maximum adventure rank increased to 55. But yeah, we didn't even. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, I can't even look at the uh, rank at the moment. I did get all of the items, so let's just leave it. Hmm. Easy as can be. Yeah, yeah if you have a character that interacts with Electro, then you're good to go. So. Uh, if you would go in there with an Electro character, you would have a little bit of a problem. Um, but yeah, most of the time I just do physical damage, so that's not that big of a deal. But yeah, Kaya would help a lot. Um, he also has a little bit more crit rate if you max him out a little bit. But no, I think the crit rate is not that important on him. Most important is the uh, double cryo effect if you get another cryo character though. But yeah. Um, let's see what we unlocked in here. We, and of course, unlocked the world level increase number two again. Uh, shouldn't that be like world level increase three right now? Because hmm, that's just what it is. And yeah, there we have it. I can lower it if I wanted to. Huh, only possible after five. And then you have to wait uh, 24 hours. So it's not something uh, that you use in order to cheaply... Uh, get some uh yeah boss loot or whatever it's there to actually change the difficulty on a permanent ish kind of level e, uh, and this is the reason why there's the 24 hour uh cooldown on it hmm just so you can't maximize the grind or whatever like easy enemies uh you can defeat on the higher uh difficulty and when it comes to bosses uh you then switch it again well you could do it uh, but then you just waste a day in between. Uh, and this is something that you usually don't want to happen. Alright, um, what is it that I do in here? Like I use the... Uh, yeah, I need to go do the resin uh, stuff next. I can do a few of these. I also have to uh, talk to... Um, uh, Catherine. In order to get the reward for the oh, level up. Okay. The world level increase. Hmm. What kind of enemy do I need in this case? Uh, yeah, what is it that I want to grind right now? That's a good question. Uh, no, I actually thought that Adventure's rank reward would uh, be available here. But no, this one just... Okay, I got the... Uh, or maybe these were the rewards uh, that you get if you finish the domain. Maybe this is how it's done. 
Okay, now I get it. So, so mm hmm. What do I want to use those uh, resin thingies for? I could use them for. Oh yeah, today is Sunday, so I can basically mix and match. That's actually pretty good. Um, so it's basically the day of talent level ups. That's what it is. Talents and talents and even more talents. So, do, 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 do. Talents, talents, talents. Who would benefit the most from it? Of course, the characters themselves. Uh, yeah, he needs some of the uh, the shields. Awful lot of those shields. Uh, okay, the liar's already there. It's only child, uh, Childy that's needed. She's just there to you uh, to act as some kind of trigger, so we don't need her that much. Uh, yeah, let's just grind some of the shield uh, thingies in there. Anything else? Well, it's nice to have, but not really necessary. By the way, what's the level on her? Okay, she could get an ascension. What's necessary on her? Ha! Ah, hmm. Ah, I could do the fire flower though. That could help as well. But yeah, no. The I don't. The thing is, I don't do damage with amber. I use amber as a kind of a trigger, anim, uh, trigger character. That's why. Uh, wait a minute, I have to remember now. What was the difficulty of this domain? It's all of, it's about frost. Was that it? Yeah. Because we are five, yes. we are pretty good. Oh, I totally forgot. Uh, okay, yeah, the grind in the other domains uh, I can do uh, somehow on the week itself. I don't need to do it on, uh, on Sunday when there are good drops happen. That's something that I don't quite like about this game. Like, you kind of have to plan in advance what it is uh, that you want to grind because it's not available all the time. And it's just really weird. Oh, come on, where is he? No, I can't. There we go. How quick am I actually in there? Usually I can do this within three ish minutes or so. Okay, in the last two of them. Oh, I can't. Oh no, he's on the ground already. was that two minutes and six seconds great so yeah let's say two and a half minutes uh, I need for this I can do this four additional times and then I have all of the upgrade material that I need on him because I don't just need to uh, level up his normal uh, hit skill I also need to level up his uh, his elemental skill and his burst his elemental burst skill no, let's not use the word elemental burst skill, because that sounds weird. All of them are skills, yes, uh, or abilities, whatever. But the word skill uh, is actually used for the E ability in here. Do, 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 do. Oh no, I need to heal myself. And Oh, 
Oh, come on. Sometimes I am not getting hit at all by those uh, spikes falling down. And sometimes I'm getting hammered into the grind and getting stun locked. When it gets extremely bad, I'm actually dying immediately after that. Where is he? Oh no, he's dead. Is he dead? I think so. So the spikes do follow your location a little bit. Uh, there's one coming down. I think they are also somewhat getting triggered by the slimes themselves, I believe. Ah, but I'm actually dishing out tons of damage right now. It's amazing. Come on. I'm gonna choose the e skill there. Didn't get recognized. Alright, how quick was that? One minute, maybe? Nah, 217. Why was that one not as quick, but the one before, where I actually took my sweetest time aiming with Amber on the mage, was quicker? I don't know. Weird. Doom doom doo doo doom boo doo 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 doom 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 みんなが Ah, come on. Damn. Ah, uh, this is exactly what I mean. If you get hit by one of those thingies, they stun lock you, and for some reason you can't move off of it. Wrong one. Oh. Nah. At least I only have to hit it twice until its shield goes away. Hmm. Ah. Like this, uh, this domain has a passive effect that those icicles fall down from the sky. But I think every time those slimes jump upwards, they trigger the fall of those icicles. Because sometimes it's just one icicle, and sometimes it's four. Sometimes it's. No, actually, no. Sometimes it's two, sometimes it's four. It's not always the same number, I believe. It's somewhat random. Uh, let's look at this. Uh, your character will be perfectly inflicted. Da 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 da. Greatly increases your stamina consumption until the inflicted crow element is removed. Icicles will periodically fall from above. Do you mean it's not actually said how many icicles will fall from the sky. It's just that it may happen, but no one knows how many. And for some reason, the maximum <laughs> book quality in there uh, is blue, and not. Wait a minute. The purple ones are the golden ones, right? Hmm. That's so strange. You would think about the golden books as being the orange ones, because that's the highest tier. They are not. I think every time you attack, you kind of get immune to attacks as well. Kind of like a, uh, a stun override or something. Where are 
This is come on, I hate that so much. You get hit once and you're getting hammered in the floor. Massage. This normally takes like 2,000 each damage every now and then. And then, bam, 10,000 damage. If the crit happens, of course. Alright, uh, how many more times can I do this? Like, twice or so? Maybe, maybe not. Nope, once more. Alright. Once more, and I got a decent amount of those tokens. Then I need to fuse them together, then I need to, um... Yeah, what about his talents? Um... No. This one needs uh, this hair thingy. And this one needs two. Okay. Hmm. With the world level increase, um... The drop of the world bosses increases. So, the domain where Storm Terror resides does not... Yeah, it's not affected by it. Because that one, uh, its difficulty is just dependent on the domain level itself, sadly. So the only thing that gets more difficult are the enemies out on the field. And these enemies I actually have to uh, check out. Helicals, the, uh, the mages, the system mages and everything else that's there. Maybe even the helicals will drop nice stuff. Yeah, the, uh, the highest world level was, I believe, 8. So the next one will be available at 55. I don't know if there's a 9 coming up. What? Hmm. But it kind of makes sense that it is 8 and not 9. Because, yeah, 8 is the uh, fulfillment number, or completeness-ish number. Why not 10? Well, <laughs> different kind of number system. Alrighty. <laughs> What's the, uh, there is, if you open up your calculator on the computer, um, you can actually change the number systems. You have binary, you have, um, something with four, I believe, or what's the other one? Binary. Maybe then there comes the normal one, uh, the, 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 uh, decimal, and then there is the, uh, uh wait a minute, decimal is ten. No, that's also an octo-ish kind of thing. That means uh, it has its turn around at 8. So that means the number goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, followed by 10. Actually, yeah. Uh, or was it? No, it's actually... It's not 8. You have to uh, exchange the 8 with the 0, then it works. So you start always counting at 0, not at 8. But you have eight different kind of numbers that repeat. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, followed by ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, twenty, twenty-one, and so on and so forth. So this is how uh, the system would work. It's kind of it's kind of interesting, really, because you're used to. Uh, to to ten, uh, well, actually to uh, to nine being the highest number, but this just uh, gives you an interesting insight in it. So it's not 
that the system, the number system that we have is the best one. <laughs> it's just one of many uh, and it just depends on how many numbers uh, you can calculate or quickly identify on the page to make it humanly, humanly readable. Like binary uh, is the computer-ish kind of number system. Uh, it's not a system that people can actually read that quickly because it's an awful lot of zeros and whatnot. Uh, Hexadecimal maybe gets uh, easier a little bit uh, because it you kind of have a uh, somewhat object-ish uh, understanding of it. But then uh, there's the... what's the other one? Uh, and then you have the normal... Uh, well, normal <laughs> in quotations mm, kind of number system. So let's okay. defeat some helicopters. Let's see what they drop. Ooh, seventy-nine even. Okay, the drop seems to be normal right now. Nah. This is grey items. Great. I leveled up the the world, but nothing really changed. Ah, that's just great. Only thing that changes is that the monsters do take a bit more time to be defeated. There we go. But no, uh, the drops that happen are still the same. Like, sometimes you get a blue horn, whatever. Sometimes you even get a purple one. But the rates uh, of the higher tier items should actually increase. So it's not something that you immediately notice. Uh, it's something that you kind of notice over time. Wait, wrong one. <laughs> ah, why don't you get the uh, one on the right as well? But that's a really interesting farming spot. There's a decent amount. It's not just one ore vein, it's like a few at least. Maybe I need to mark it on the map just in case. But then there is... Yeah, the other domain is right around the corner, so it's actually easily accessible. Um, Yeah, ore. Bam. Let's defeat these and see what the loot is this time. Well, oh, that's actually a really interesting way of doing things in here. Like, if you uh, enter a camp, at some point, it will just replenish the enemies, so you can do a permanent farm. But nah, then it would just go against the whole uh, monetization idea of Genshin. <laughs> hmm. You can't just... Well, no, it's not, it's not the monetization idea. It's the idea that you're not supposed to play this game forever. Not because of the developers, uh, but because of the fact that this game is catered towards the uh, Chinese market. Not because most of the uh, characters have Chinese names or anything, but the... Uh, yeah, the, 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 the... Okay, the randomness is pretty... Uh, actually, pretty nice rule that they have to follow. Uh, that they have to list the chances of objects dropping when it is uh, somewhat of a lucky system. <laughs> the loot box system in this case. 
that's pretty sweet. But yeah, uh, then the rest of the uh, game is uh, made in a way that you can't really play it more than, I think, four hours. Really. Like, if you play it for the grind, that is. If you want to do missions uh, and other stuff, yeah, even normal missions are kind of restricted because you have to get the uh, the keys, right? So you can't just do... The only thing that you could do, though, is do the main mission. Uh, that's the only thing that you can do from uh, start to finish, I believe. But the other missions are locked behind a wall. Interesting one. Oh, if you think about it, it's genius. Because every other mission that you come across, you have to unlock with a key first. And that key has to be obtained first. Huh. Uh, and in order to obtain the keys, you have to spend resin. Well, uh, no. You have to do commissions. There we go. And um, four commissions a day give you a key. So one key each day. So if you want to go for more keys on a day that... Mm, well, it's just not possible. Wait a minute. No, you need eight commissions. Uh, yeah. Four of them a day. So two days for a key. That means you spread out the whole grind a bit. Interesting, interesting, interesting. All right. Let's end this episode for now. Um, and we have to also continue with this uh, mission. Uh, that is the main mission. Uh, this one. The Ride of Dissension. Uh, where does this one start at? It starts somewhere in Liu. Let's uh, prepare ourselves. I don't know if you can just go to the teleporter. Let's hope. that We don't trigger that immediately. Because that will be a bit iffy. Hmm. There we go. Perfect. Uh, who do I need to talk to? Ah, I just have to <laughs> not get too close to that glowy pole over there. Alright. And with this, uh, we end this little episode and continue in Liu with the Rite of Dissension with another time. To learn, like, subscribe. Ta-ta!